Woo! Hey everyone, this is Dara from Daily Crypto Trade Signals coming to you live, live from Asia, guys. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful thing we are seeing. We are seeing that Doge is going up despite all of the markets going down. Uh, we're going to be talking about why Doge is going up, why are the markets going down, and what I'm I seeing for the short-term future for crypto, for the short-term uh future for dogecoin and we're going to talk about one of the key reasons why dogecoin is going up right now so guys if this sounds interesting don't forget to go down there smash the likes like crazy and show some love guys remember now this is financial advice i will appreciate it. and guys and gals go back and watch all the other videos i want to thank everybody we finally hit seventy-three thousand subscribers so thank you to the whole community go back and watch all the other videos become a member guys i will appreciate it so what's going on in terms of broader markets basically broader markets pretty much flat nothing really is happening uh let's take a look at the price of uh, oil right now oil is uh oil is still above 70 dollars so not too good out there but nothing really big in terms of news uh dogecoin is still looking pretty good we're going to be jumping into that don't forget to smash like dogecoin 111 and we're seeing that the fear and greed is at 63 right now we're at 70 yesterday but one of the reasons that we're down is because of this guys omg we are seeing that all of the crypto markets are down uh, with the exception, basically, of Doge, which is up 5%, and AVAX, guys. So, looking pretty good for the Doge. Uh, and should you be worried about uh, crypto? Should you be worried about Bitcoin? I don't think so, guys. Things are looking pretty good from that perspective. Things overall are looking very good. And it's very normal. It's very normal uh, for people to take profits. It's very normal to see a little bit of a dip. We're only seeing 3.57% dip and 4% for Ethereum. And it looks like also BlackRock has just filed for a spot ETF as well. So overall right now, let me give this a minty refresh. Don't forget to smash Dogecoin freaking one, one, one. It's a great time to be live, as I said many, many times before. So overall, crypto markets are taking a little bit of a breather out there, with the exception of, um, of Dogecoin, which is up 4.68% right now. And we are above $0.08. Cents. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bring out the fireworks. Bring out the party. We need the confetti. We need the balloons. We need everything because Dogecoin is above $0.08, cents, guys. It's looking pretty good. Look at, look at, look at Avax. Avax is up over seventy percent in seven days, guys. Wow, 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 woo, woo. It's looking insane, guys. And look at the total market cap of uh, Dogecoin right now. It's above eleven point four uh, billion dollars. So things are looking pretty good uh, overall, guys. This is one of the this is one of the reasons that's uh, also helping to fuel, fuel uh, Dogecoin uh, liftoff is that Dogecoin is going to the moon. So there's a lot of articles. Uh, out there. Uh, let's hope that uh, th this date sticks. Dogecoin is going to the moon on December 23rd in a DA DHL moon box via UCL's Vulcan Center rocket. Keep an eye on this guy. So it looks like somebody they're saying now it's going to be December 23rd guys. So this article is is definitely going around and around and you can see it here guys. I did I did post it here. Uh, where is it? Da, 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 here. Uh, Let's see, not this one. Let's so we'll go back. Let's go back this one. So this is the article that is um, this is the article that is uh, floating around the interwebs. Dogecoin uh, to the moon is officially confirmed. So this article has been going around, and it's saying that it's going to be uh, December twenty third or December twenty fourth out there. So let's hope it happens. I mean, you know, we've had the boy that cries wolf a number of times, but I'm pretty confident it's going to happen eventually. So let's. Let's hope it hope it happens, and that's why we're seeing that Dogecoin is uh, going up, guys. So, uh, you know, the good news: while well, most of the tar uh, most of the markets are tanking, Doge is going up after consolidation for over a year. Doge is breaking out of its uh, of its year long downward resistance, guys, and filling its gap back to all time high. As we approach the halving, alts and other majors will capture some of the market liquidity, and that is when we're going to see Dogecoin pump like crazy, guys. So, guys, also too, we did see that. Uh, over eight million dollars worth of dogecoin was transferred from robinhood to an unknown wallet probably they're moving that into self-custody out there guys and uh the og the og is still buying the dips i'm still buying the douche how about you she will appreciate it so i just thought this was funny yes but where you learn to use your fingers dippity dip dip buy the freaking dips guys great time to be alive guys she'll appreciate it she'll absolutely appreciate it out there guys so what are we seeing here you know as i said 
Dogecoin has been trending down for over a year, guys. Uh, we've had this whole descending triangle that has been going since October 2022. And every time we, we hit the top, we, we get rejected. So from that perspective, it's looking it's looking very very awesome right now. They were actually breaking out of that, and uh, you know I'm I'm you guys should also be pretty excited about it. We're we're breaking out of it. Uh, this long resistance that's been just going out and going on. And guys, if we take a, if we zoom in, you can see here that this long resistance here, we are breaking out of it. We're not getting rejected as you guys can see. In the past, we were we would always hit this trend line, get rejected go up, get rejected. So right now we are absolutely blasting past this uh, trend line. And that is why I believe that 10 cents is in sight. And we're following our, we're following our, our support line here. And my big target is going to be about 16 cents, guys. So it looks like we're on track right now for that. So that is pretty good. We're seeing the social sentiment for Dogecoin uh, is going up. We're seeing the social dominance is up almost 144% in 24 hours. And social contributors are up as well, guys. So this is fantastic news. Absolutely fantastic news out there, guys. So we're seeing the Dogecoin right now. If you take a look at the chart, we're seeing that Dogecoin right now uh, is up, guys. We're seeing that the market cap is up 5%. We're seeing that the volume is also up, guys, because social sentiment is driving uh, Dogecoin right now. And it has a lot to do with that whole Moon article that is coming out. So it's pretty good, guys. So once again, more articles about a space technology firm plans to take the physical Doge to the Moon next month, guys. So hopefully this will pan out. This will absolutely happen. It's a great time to be alive, guys. Also, we're seeing, as I said, ton of uh, Dogecoin is moving uh, from Robinhood uh, to Custodial Wallet. So that is pretty good. Uh, means that they're not going to be selling, guys. They're going to be hauling, guys. And don't forget, if you got your crypto on a centralized exchange, get it freaking off there. Dogecoin to the moon. Literally to the moon, guys. It's a great time to be alive. Don't forget to smash the likes, guys. Smash the double likes. Smash the single likes, guys. And let's party like it's 1994, guys. Let's get the confetti. Let's do it, guys. And keep in mind, look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin is now in the 12th spot in terms of market cap out there. It's at 711 billion, just behind Tesla. Wow. Still, the biggest company on planet Earth is uh, Apple with $2.9 trillion, followed by Microsoft, Saudi, Google, Amazon, and Silver, guys. One day, hopefully, hopefully, Bitcoin will be worth more than Silver. I think it's going to happen. It's just a matter of time. Titty, titty, time, time. And we're seeing right now, it's a beautiful day for Doge. Everybody is bullish. 59% are in the money. And it's looking good, guys. Absolutely looking good out there. Let's take a look at what's going on Bitcoin. Bitcoin had a big, big sell-off yesterday. Uh, yeah, big sell-off, almost a 4% sell-off. We had like a 6.49% a pump. This is a market maker's taking liquidity. Remember, remember yesterday it went up. A lot of people took a lot, a lot of long positions. So the market maker decided that they're not going to have that and they're going to take all of the liquidity out there. So you can see here, let me just refresh this data for you. That you can see the amount of uh, wreckage out there. It's been, it's been huge, guys. In the last 24 hours, almost $218 million worth of wreckage. And you can see that most of it right now is a lot of long, long squeeze happened. And that is why we saw a huge, 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 huge dumpage for uh, Bitcoin on a long squeeze basis. So that's what's going on with that. So guys, be careful. Uh, Ethereum is also looking so, so right now. I did break down from my trend line. I did uh, paint the secondary trend line. This is a more bullish trend line. It means that we get to 2400 dollars a lot faster so we've broken down from that and uh, it looks like we're going to probably hit this trend line and follow that going up guys so guys keep in mind we've got 153 days to the next halving halving and that's when things are going to go insane absolutely insane guys did you know that tether uh, has deployed 500 million in bitcoin mining to become the largest miner so tether is serious about mining that is pretty good news out there and guys here's some estimates for the bitcoin price by 2030 and this is by arc investment so this is not a lightweight they're saying that the bear case worst case scenario for bitcoin in 2030 is going to be 258 million 258 000, 682 000, uh best case price target uh, kind of medium this is a kind of base case and then the best case scenario is going to be 1.4 million dollars wow Wow, guys, don't sleep on Bitcoin. Definitely do not sleep on Bitcoin, not financial advice. We're seeing that uh, from Mags, bull run has, it's been confirmed. 
Bitcoin is trading outside the upper Bollinger Bands for the first time since the 2020, 2020 bull run, guys. So we can see the Bollinger Bands here, and we're trading outside of this Bollinger Band, which is very bullish. And every time the price has traded outside the upper Bollinger Bands in the past, it has marked the beginning of a massive, massive bull run, guys. So wow, wow, wow. And you can see here, guys, that the long-term Bitcoin investors remains a tight grip with supply held for longer than one year is hovering at all-time highs. So you can see that the number of diamond hands is increasing. And as you know, as the scarcity of Bitcoin uh, increases, uh, you're going to also see that the price is going to be going up as well because there's, there's not the Bitcoin is, 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 is finite. And more people are hodling, and there's going to be more demand as demand goes up, and more people are not willing to sell and are holding. Bitcoin price can only do one thing that's going to go up, guys. I thought this was interesting. Uh, this is important to note. Uh, this is basically the significance of the spot ETF for Bitcoin and other altcoins ETF will eventually prove. So we can see if we look at projected cryptocurrency market growth 2023 to 2033, and right here, we're here. If we have, without a spot uh, ETF, we're going to see significant growth. With a Bitcoin ETF only, we're going to see significant growth. Uh, but if we both get approved, we're going to see uh, crypto takeoff, guys. Uh, you know, there'll be initial sur surge demand due to institutional inflows, increased market accessibility for uh, retail investors, improved regulatory clarity, investors covers high market growth due to these factors. So we're going to see extreme market growth as we have institutional investors uh, go into the market, go into the space, guys. So Bitcoin bull run begins. And if we look at the other fractals in 2011, 2014, 2018, and now we are seeing something very, very similar. And definitely the bull run is here. There's no doubt. There's no doubt. What's going on in terms of interest rates? Uh, basically, we're saying 99% are saying that the next interest rate meeting is 13th to December. And 99.7% are saying no interest rates out there, guys. What's happening big announcement-wise next week? Uh, we've got, uh, we've got uh, minutes of the uh, FOMC meeting on the 21st. That's going to be big. We've got jobless claims. Durable goods, uh, Thanksgiving holiday on the 23rd, keep in mind. And that's about it, guys. Nothing too big happening next week, guys and gals out there. So uh, if you take a look at our annual returns for Bitcoin right now, November, up, November is looking pretty good at 4.89%, guys. So looking pretty good. Uh, let's take a quick Ginder Gander at uh, Shibi Weeby right now. Shibi Weeby is doing okay. It's at 864 out right there right now so it looks like that we're in meme heaven right now but dogecoin is definitely the darling the beauty the beauty of the crypto market right now and the dogecoin is doing very well it's at 0809 and continuing continuing and we're seeing tons of volume guys tons of volume and the sentiment for dogecoin is extremely positive right now out there guys what else is happening uh, in terms of my Twitter? Guys, don't forget to go follow me on my Twitter at hit8705. Nice time, guys. Guys, keep buying the dips, guys. She'll appreciate it. And uh, guys, tons of uh, Bitcoin, tons of Dogecoin are moving to privately held wallets, guys. So good news overall, guys. Go go and watch my Twitter feed. Guys, 80% uh, of Dogecoin, 80% of Bitcoin uh, addresses are currently in profit. Uh, looks like just in um, uh, Vacville Firefighters Union to buy Bitcoin for its balance sheet is self custody. BlackRock has officially filed with the US the e spot ETF, so looking pretty good. Dogecoin, Fear and Greed is at 65 out there. So, guys, things are looking good. Lots of positive news. Uh, guys, exactly this predict Dogecoin is going to the moon. I said it yesterday. And guess what? We are going to the moon. Uh, things are looking amazing out there, guys. It's a great time to be live, guys. So don't forget to go down there, smash the likes, show some love for the OG guys. I appreciate it. Be blessed. Be well. That's all I freaking got. Peace out.